This Dutch Boffin SS footage is from a recruitment film. It fits in well with the first video in the series, covering a soldier named Gottfried's war diary, who served first in the 5th SS Division Viking, and then with the 10th SS Panzer Division Frunsberg. Gottfried, a German, joined the Waffen SS in the spring of 1942 and went through basic training with Dutch volunteers in the Netherlands. Using plenty of background information to give context, we'll follow his story during the advance into the Caucasus in 1942 and then, as a member of Frunsberg, during their defense around Normandy, their escape out of the Falaise pocket, Operation Market Garden, and other battles. In this video, we'll cover the period up through basic training using his diary entries, related film footage, his personal photographs, graphic translations, and at the end of the video, we'll take a look at a situational map showing the SS Division Vikings positioning around this time. So stick around. It's worth it. Am 4. Mai 1942, erfolgte meine Einberufung. On May 4th, 1942, I joined the Waffen SS. I said goodbye to my parents at the train station and took an express train west, traveling over Frankfurt am Oder, Berlin, Braunschweig, Hanover, Bielefeld, and ending up in Unna, where I stayed for three days. Crossing the border at Emmerich into Holland, we then traveled on to Arnhem. There we were assigned to specific companies, with me going to the third that was heading for Doesburg. This is a photograph of the Mauritz Katzerne in Doesburg that Gottfried took just as he arrived. And this photograph was taken of him that day. I underwent a 10 week long infantry training course that presented no difficulties whatsoever for me. The basic military training of the Waffen SS during the war was the same as that of the normal German Heer. Heavy emphasis was put on instilling military discipline, physical fitness, weapons proficiency, close combat, and group tactics. Waffen SS soldiers did, however, generally receive considerably more political and racial indoctrination, or Weltanschaulicher Unterricht. Complete obedience to the hierarchy of command was strictly enforced as with all armies, individuality was systematically replaced by groupthink. The SS motto was, Meine Ehre heißt Treue. Physical fitness, like obedience, was of high priority from the very beginning. The exercise was often competition-based and in groups which developed the soldiers' will to win and built the camaraderie and aggressiveness that would eventually be necessary for involvement during in-formation maneuvering and combat. This photograph from Gottfried's collection was taken during basic training and shows the handball team. And of course, plenty of time was spent by the soldiers getting acquainted to and becoming proficient with the weapons that they would be using. 
This is a good time for me to thank my Patreon contributors. Without their support, buying these sources wouldn't be possible. Patreon supporters get regular access to exclusive footage. Sign up for a free account at military1945.com and see some example footage. Notice how they balance a beanbag on the butt of the rifle to get a feel for the weapon. Here we see Gottfried and his squad with a light machine gun. The typical squad was made up of nine infantrymen and one squad leader. In this lecture, the Waffen-SS trainees are being introduced to Germanic cultural roots shared by North European countries. Here, specifically, they are learning about the similarities between the related Germanic languages. The young soldiers were also indoctrinated with the theories of so-called racial hygiene and the racial hierarchy. Leaflets such as Der Untermensch were published by the SS and used in lectures as teaching materials. They tended to be filled with photographs contrasting people with exaggerated physical features. The idea was to secure an us versus them mentality. Each man in the squad, except for the machine gunner, his assistant, and the squad leader was armed with a Carbina 98K the squad leader had an MP40. Each of these stacks represents the weaponry of one squad. The squad, in offensive actions, would not act alone, but rather in cooperation with the other three squads in the platoon. Set offensive and defensive maneuvers were drilled repeatedly until each member of the squad knew his role instinctively. Here we see Gottfried with his squad during field exercises. This rare clip from 1943 shows graduates of a Dutch training facility of the Waffen-SS being sworn in. They are swearing personal allegiance to Adolf Hitler. And here we can see Gottfried at his swearing-in ceremony. In late June of 1942, the advance towards the Caucasus had begun. The SS Division Viking was tasked with taking Rostov, and Gottfried would soon be heading east. This clip is from the SS Division Reich series, episode 23. Go take a look. If you like material created using primary historical sources, please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Use the QR code to create a free account and check out the example exclusive footage. Thanks for watching.